What's up, guys? I thought, since I don't know what to draw next for a speed draw or an elapsed time draw, whatever the frick you want to call it, I thought, let's do a tutorial. Why? Because I know I find enjoyment out of tutorials, even if I don't learn any... Well, even if I don't go in expecting to do exactly what the tutorial says, it's nice to know to see how other people draw things. And I figured... I may as well. And I'm not good at tutorials. I'm bad at explaining things. In all honesty, I'm better at showing. So I hope somebody can get something fruitful out of this. So um, also, this will be the first time you guys actually get to see my full side, which technically I've got full screened right now. Like full screened in a way I have never full screened it before. It is blank because I haven't opened a new file yet. Now, oop. No, I want that to be 2,000 by 2,000. Um, that seem that it tell some of you that may seem pretty big. Some of you might it might seem small, but this is what the kind of canvas I typically work on, even for these speed draws and such. Also, the resolution inside, yeah, I put it to 300, but the output is always 72. Kind of sucks, but at the same time, what can you expect? It's not Photoshop. Um, I usually don't name it until I save it. So I have no intentions of actually, like, saving this. So, you know, it, it's going to be whatever. Oh, why am I on my inking tool? I need my sketch tool, which I typically have set to nine. Uh, yeah, nine pixel brush. And I usually have my stabilizer set to ten when I'm sketching. Um, which isn't always the case. Uh, I'm also use if anyone's curious, I use a Wacom Bamboo Medium Tablet. Which is a really old one. It's actually the Wacom Bamboo Fun. It, it was super, super hyped back in 2008 and 2009, and then was beaten out by the new ones or whatever they came out with afterwards. I don't even freaking know. Um, but, um, yeah. So, oh, fuck, I am bad at tutorials. Um, more or less, um, I'm going to do something generic. We're going to go with Sanic. I know I said Sanic instead of Sonic, but fuck it, whatever. But fuck it. I also, on occasion, will use color-coded ones, which I have right here, this one particular, um, slightly, uh, dinged, um line of palette I use that for colored ones like say Sonic's I want to draw Sonic I'm gonna associate him with blue so I go with blue yeah makes sense makes sense to me um I can't really tell you my uh, settings for my sketch tool in all honesty most people just gotta find it on their own um, but I do have it set to uh, uh, 100%, which means there is actually no tapering at all with it. It's literally just sensory on how th um, light or dark it's going to be. Because tapering can get a little funky. Whereas with my ink tool, it's all tapered and shit. Like, it is tapered. And then the crayon tool I use has tapering as well. But my sketch tool does not. Now that I've gone through all my tools and shit, and bored you half to death, let's let's get into the meat and potatoes of this one, huh? So, okay. I literally just squiggle around with a circle until it looks more or less like a circle. Ignore like these little bashy lines or whatever that are outside the circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. No matter what anybody tells you, it does not have to be perfect. And then I just put these little lines and I want the muzzle to be roughly around here. Not quite centered, but like along this line. And I draw my sh I draw my drawings at an angle sort of most of the time like say I wanted to do it more straight on. It'd be more or less like that. So, well, no, let's not go for the straight on approach. Ah, uh, fuck. I deleted it and now I can't do it again. Okay, there we go. I'll expect better. 
Maybe. Kind of. No, not really. I am super picky. I'm so sorry. This is tutorial, and it's not actually me trying to be good at anything. Ugh, fuck. I wish I hadn't removed it to show examples. Um, but yeah, there we go. There, there's the basic head shape. Now, what I want to do before I get into anything else is I want to get the head base shape in there. Um, so basically, I go along that, that little muzzle line I created for myself, and then I just do these little... You know, these little, little cheeks, little cheeks. Just, just little cheeks, just a rounded shape of some sort. And that's it for that. But then, for the muzzle, like the actual nose bridge, I want to go up over around there. And I made this too fucking big. It's better, it's, it's better. Mistakes happen, by the way. For those of you watching this and, you know, you're you're just, you know, starting out. I don't know who would watch this and just be starting out. You know, let's fix that. Uh, again, I'm super picky, guys. I'm sorry. You have to actually see this. This is just a tutorial. This doesn't have to be perfect, but, oh, it would bug me if it wasn't. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you could just keep adding to this and adding smoothness to it to where it almost looks like a freaking line work. But to me, that's not a line work. Not by a long shot. So, I got the muzzle in there. Now I want to start on the body pose, roughly. And what I really- what I do is I put a line where I want the body to be. And then, I just start melding it out with simple shapes. And, my style is my style, so this is just how I draw Sonic. It's nothing official or anything. I'm terrible with the official body types. So, I do apologize. However, I try my best to make it as cartoony as possible. Like, for example, there we go. And I just- th these little divots are where I'm going to be putting his legs later on. But, this area right- <sighs> Fucking hell. I just did not do that right. Yeah, by the way, I actually do yell at my own work constantly what I'm drawing, so you guys actually get to see that for once. Um, since I've got the actual muzzle on, I should probably lower this to about there. Which, there's nothing wrong with using shaping tools or whatever, or select tools to, to put things where they belong in the picture. There's nothing wrong with, with messing up. Nothing wrong with it. So, uh, okay, let's see. Then, I just go down here and do a little leg, and I made it too long. Story of my life. <laughs> and I just do little legs. And I can shape it a little better from there. That way it flows better, the body flows better. I constantly erase and redraw shit. Like, I will draw a line. And draw it exactly the same, but be happier with the second iteration because something ever so slightly was different that only I have noticed and nobody else watching ever notices. Like, you have no idea how often my friends yell at me to tell me, stop trying, you had it right the first time. But me, I'm going, no, no, I didn't have it right. I had it all wrong. It was so wrong. Uh, the life of an artist. The life of an artist, man. Or anyone who draws or even doodles. It, it, it is a nag. Your brain is your worst enemy, but your best friend. Okay. This body's looking pretty shapely. I notice, uh, you will, or, you will also notice that I do tend to erase, like, a lot of the really fine crosshair stuff when I draw. That's also because sometimes I can't see it well, so I try shaping it with my, um, with my eraser instead. If I can't see it with the tool I am currently using. You know what? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I'm, I'm getting self-conscious because you guys are watching, and <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but I'm, I'm just getting self-conscious, and this is just turning out to be a terrible, terrible video of me trying to be perfect. I don't know if I'm going to edit any of this out. I may, I may not. Also, um, 
with the, the lower portions of the leg, I like to make them a little meatier. Like, make them look like they have some kind of actual shape to them. I mean, I know the typical Sonic's uh, body is... Well, let me get a better example. Um... I know the typical body is something to this effect, but I do not like that body style, okay? I like showing them with a little more muscle, if you know what I mean. Like, well, I don't know how to explain it. Um, however, it's not as bad as it used to be. Okay, so next part is putting the arm there. which I always make the forearm lines longer than they need to be. So I add a little divot there just because I can. And there's where his armpit is, obviously. Um, I kind of just... I'm not a direct bare bones person. I literally will draw the, the actual, like, meat of the picture while just doing the preliminary sketch and it, it, it could be a little weird like I don't like how that armpit looks let's uh, shave that down to about that there we go that looks better it looks like a sonic pet doesn't it that looks and then I'm going to put his hand on his hip cuz why not make him a little fabulous not really you can't really make sonic more fabulous Okay, so here's the hard part. I do actually struggle with hands, but I have spent so long just trying to get... Like, if you're not sure where the fingers will be placed, just put little circles to remind yourself where they're going to go. And the shape of the fingers doesn't have to be a perfect circle or anything like that. It really doesn't. But then you got, like, things like the thumb, which is going to be like that because he is on his hip. Um, I do like making fingertips a little more square in some places, and I just realized that this finger is fucking fat as shit. Um, okay. That looks okay, right? Right, okay. Um, let's see. So then we're gonna put the other arm over here. I don't go into this area unless I absolutely have to, so that's typically, this is the shoulder. And why I'm taking time out to write that down is beyond me, that's just a waste of our time. My time and yours. So then I roughly estimate, uh, actually I could probably make this a little more roundish, there we go. But I usually guesstimate where the arm would be coming off of the circle, and then I add another circle usually to get an idea of where it's gonna be. Um, lots and lots of circles. I tell you what. Like, for shoes, I typically do a little circle there and then shape it out a little better to look like a shoe head or shoe toe tip, whatever, fuck it. Um, and then I just kind of shape the foot behind it. And then other times I just go in and do this. And get myself a general shape. And then to remind myself where the foot, you know, is going, I will put that there. That little that little middle point, that mid that midpoint there to remind myself where it is exactly. Okay. And then do that. Just shape it a little better. You know, I don't like how far down this is, so I'm going to reshape that a bit. That that looks a little more... No, because then this needs to come down more. I am super bad at tutorials. I do greatly apologize. Like, I'm trying something new here, and it's it seems like it's blowing up in my face, but I'm sure you guys will love it. I, I think you guys will love it. Maybe. Not really. Probably not. I don't know. Blowing it out my ass now. Um. 
But yeah, like I said, I prefer meteor limbs. As opposed to the stock parsnip or parsley, as Amy would call it, parsley legs that Sega likes to do. And that also puts the circle out of line. So... There we go. And then, for this hand, it's going to- I, I just kind of make a little box where the hip fingers are gonna go. Um, it's kind of not something you want to do, but you can do, I guess? I mean, I'm not gonna say you have to do it this way. I am so bad, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, and then for cuffs, I just kind of wing it. Just kind of shape them out there. Um, I kind of just do all of this in my head and it's all kind of subconscious by this point that I don't know how to explain what I'm doing. Like, it is all so super freaking subconscious at this point, like... I know what I'm doing, but how do I explain to others what I'm doing? You know, it's, it's just one of those things. And then for his belly, we'll give him that little... Uh, this is the problem with my style, is the belly always seems to um, contradict the armpit with me. So I usually do either shave that down, or if I can't make it look good, I just say, screw it, they're touching. But I think in this case, I will be able to fix it. Yeah, see, I fixed. I fixed. I fixed. And then, um, because I like doing a little j under jaw shadow, I do that there. Yeah, I know this is the sketch and I don't need to shade it in, but it, it's like a healthy reminder to myself of where exactly that's going to go. And then just kind of like to shape his chest, I put that there. Um, I could actually probably get away with putting the leg a little further back. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, it's off screen. Fuck it. Whatever. Ugh. God damn. And then just move that back to wherever it feels like it makes sense. And then clean it up as best I can, where I can, how I can. Because his chest feels a little too puffy. There we go. And then just tail, tail, triangle, tail. Whoops. I also do the undo button a few too many times sometimes. Okay, so this glove is going- this- this cuff- Oop, knocked the microphone, I'm so sorry. Um, this cuff is gonna be a little more difficult. It's gonna be a good bit more difficult. Um, I kinda just do with the upper loop of the cuff. Or, better yet, uh, I'll get that going there like that. There we go. Um... And we do that. We kind of just, you know, meld it as best we can to the position it's in, whatnot. Um, get it as cuff shaped as possible. I don't know how many people this is going to help or how entertaining this is going to be. I'm so sorry, guys. Ugh, I can't stop apologizing either. Oh, and I can't apologize for apologizing because that's lame. Ah! Um. Oh. This is as bad as me trying to talk my way out of, like, games I've played. Okay, so this shoulder is lower, so we're going to lower it like so. And because his quill is back there, but you can't really see it, um, I just kind of put little notary lines that there is a quill back there. There's really nothing to it other than that. So, that's the body. I just realized I spent so much freaking time on the body, I haven't even, like, focused on the head. Holy crap. And we are already a good 
bit in. We're almost 20 minutes into this. And I still don't have the uh, head properly. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm giving it more shape. This is something I learned from a friend who draws in the Archie comic style. But I really like it because it helps you get that shape just right. It also helps you figure out where is what. And if you can't see the line you did up there, you just I just erase it. I just fucking erase shit and then make the head look look more like a head. It's like a bald person now. It is bald. Um, but here we go. Let's see. Yeah. So I've got that head shape now. And what I do for his eyes, um, I'm actually going to rotate here a little bit because it'll help me. Because I put him at an angle, which was awkward enough as it was. Why did I do that? Anyway, so what I do is I kind of come to this center point, but go a little away from it. And just kind of do a little roundy eye thing. It takes a lot of effort to get this shape right and the height and everything right. Even I know I don't do it perfectly. Not even close. And with this one, you kind of want to scrunch it up a bit more. Because, again, I drew it at an angle. Dum dum me. Mm. Oh. It, it's easier for me, but at the same time, I'm trying to explain it to people who might not find it as easy. Per se. So, we have that. Also, with his nose, I kind of just put it here in, here in this area. I just kind of do a shape or whatever. I figure the, no the actual nose shape out when I actually get to the inking part. So, oh, also, little, little grin. Little grin. Classic Sonic. Like, the, 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 the staple of Sonic. And I also kind of give him a little lip. Which my eraser decided to foobar on me there. I'm sorry. Why am I apologizing? It's it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it all. We're gonna get rid of those. And then get rid of this. I'm so nervous because I'm doing a tutorial. It's terrible. Terrible. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Um. I'm just Sonic trash. Anyway. Whoa. Eraser. No. Hell no. Hell nah, bruh. Nah. Nah. Nobody told you you could do that. Okay. So. Um. Yeah, that <laughs> that's just basically standard Sonic grin right there. Now see, if you want to give him a little flair, you can like do a little... Like, you, you can always add this here and it doesn't look wrong. I mean, you want to add a little more meat to that eyebrow in particular. That other uh, brow point make it look like it's uh not exactly just you know like you're drawing a line on a piece of paper which technically you most likely are but anyway i'm getting off topic that looks evil as shit so i'm actually going to erase it i sort of just kind of wing the wing the eyebrow like expressions and shit but um no i'm gonna go back to what i had there no you know what we'll just stick with the normal eyes i'm trying to do things that i shouldn't be so i do apologize i do apologize so greatly for my terrible explanations and my terrible, terrible ability to draw while talking. I mean, I do it constantly, I do, but at the same time, I'm not usually talking about the drawing. Usually just, like, I do streams on occasion, from time to time, here and there, you know, it's whatever. Um, and I'm used to talking to the people in chat, but I'm not used to talking about the drawing I'm working on. Also, I do kind of do my, you know, let's try a rounded um, eyebrow because I'm being stupid as shit with the square one. And then I add a little another one to symbolize that he's got two brows. 
Okay, so now we can go back to this to normal settings. And then I just kind of... Oh, fucking A. Well, actually, I should probably... I, sh I really should get into this habit of doing the lower quills first. Um, because if you do the top one first, nine times out of ten, you're going to screw up the positioning on his head. Which I tend to do quite often. Also, he does have quills on the other side. Not in classic form, I will admit that much. I don't really draw classic all that often, so... Yeah, there's that. Also, I make just a little kind of triangular shape, a little floppy triangular shape with a round tip to the ear. And then I just fill that in as need be. It's kind of placed just above the eyebrow, so... Yeah. I mean, if they've got big eyebrows, it'll cover the ear, so whatever. Um, but anyway. And then his top quill is sort of... Well, not, not that. It takes a few tries to get the shape right. Or even remotely right. Um, I know I'm not drawing Sonic to his canonical form but I can say that it's closer to what Archie does I believe I think I don't read the comments wish I did well not really I don't really wish I did I, I don't find the comics entertaining but okay so what we want to do here is if you can't get it in that smooth style you know what fuck it what am I doing it kind of has a little shark fin. What am I doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my good golly gosh. I am... Okay, fuck it. I'm losing, like, sight of what I wanted. And that, that does happen. Like, it is possible to lose sight of what you were intending to do with the drawing. And that's exactly what I am going through right now. And if you guys ever see me fumble... Like fumble in the sketching stage on some things other than you know some mistakes I've noticed that I made like with shadow shoes and that one I I definitely made a mistake in that one and it took forever to correct it and it made the video longer than it needed to be also let me I, I want to know guys if you're still watching to this point what do you think about making a, a, what what do you think the true like the proper length for those little elapsed time speed draw things should be do you think i make them too long do you think i make them too short what do you guys think i want to know because somebody told me i make them too long and then others were like well why'd you start making them shorter i don't know i just i want to know what you guys think like leave that in the comments i, I want to know your guys' thoughts on this because this is an art discussion at this point. This is no longer a tutorial, this is an art discussion. Though it'll still be listed as a tutorial in the, the, the um, title. Wow, what did I do to that corner? There we go. That's been better. Bit better. Also, if you guys ever want to see more of these tutorials, let me know in the comments down below as well. Because... I could do one on line art, uh, shading. Those may need ellipses, though. Like, or not ellipses. Elapsed time. Like, sped up. They might need speeding up here and there, but I can most definitely add some substance to that uh, pot. Like, if, if you know me from any other site, you know I do and love doing really elaborate shading. So, let me know if you guys want to see that here on YouTube. Like, a, t a little tutorial, a little, a little sit-in. I actually had thought about doing a little stream once upon a, once or twice. I, I've thought about doing a little art stream on YouTube where I could get requests from whoever watches or, um... or just draw whatever the frick I want, you know? Like, I've already said fuck several times, so why am I saying frick? I don't know. It it. I think my my um my censorship uh button is getting turned on again. 
Like, I used to be so censored. Oh my gosh, until I turned 16, you would not hear a single profanity out of my mouth. But as soon as I turned 16 and got really, really pissed one day, it happened and it was not pleasant. Like, first word I ever dropped was the F-bomb. Which, you know, that, that's a bit bit of a doozy if you're... Heh. <laughs> Especially when it's, like, aimed at your parent because you're getting frustrated with it. Anyway, that's a story for another time. Um, this is not story time with Amu. This is tutorial time with Amu. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying my, my, my little banters. Might even find them cute or whatever. I don't fucking know. I'm not cute, but, you know, I, I try to be. I, I try to be. I try to be cute. I'm not that good at it. Oh, you can tell I'm nervous as shit. Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, boy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna stop that now. I'm, I'm, I, I have fun with that voice. Like, there are some people, like, I'll be in a Skype call and then I'll pull that voice out and they're just like, what the fuck was that? Be like, y'all never know. Or even if it's a group call, it's who the fuck was that? I will go silent. Indicating it was me, but you know what I'm saying. Because most people don't pay attention to like Skype call windows and shit. Or if you're using Discord. Um, yeah, there's that. Also, I'm work currently working on a Discord server for the channel. I mean, I have my own, but it's... It's more of a little... Mm, a little place where a bunch of me and my friends dick around. And I don't want you guys... Uh, oh, by the way, cuffs, same deal as the hands, most more or less. Just kind of get an idea of where they're going to be floating up. Um, but yeah, I don't want to subject you guys to me and my friends bantering, and some of the things can get a little, um, a, a little raunchy. Well, I shouldn't say raunchy, but they, they are not safe for work conversations nine times out of ten. So, it's like, yeah. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want that. Um... Holy shit, this has gone on for 30, 30, over 30 minutes. Oh my god, what am I doing with my life? Uh, um, I, I've gone straight from tutorial to like talking about shit because I have no idea how to really explain to you guys what I am doing. I'm more or less going to do this video slowly and carefully, precisely even, just to make sure my point is being gotten if that makes sense it probably doesn't but just to make sure like you guys are seeing how i do things at the very least because i'm bad at explaining i don't learn from people explaining either i learn from them showing me and you know if i ha actually ask a question which is rare they answer and then boom bam there's the explanation part of it so, I do heavily apologize. This is turning into a big, a big uh, freak show here. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, who, buddy? I wanted to do one of these for a while, though, so it's not like it's that bad, I guess. It probably is. I don't know. Well. The shoe looks ever so slightly worse, but ever so slightly better. I don't know how to feel about it. Um, it's probably the lace. It's probably the lace. Or the strap. The strap. It's a strap. It's not a lace. Sonic doesn't have shoelaces. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Oh, wait. I forgot. There were instances. I don't know why I'm trying to, like, hike this shoe up so much, but it looks better. But the curvature is wrong. So let's see if we can actually get a curve on it. There we go. 
That's too much. <laughs> Gosh, I'm being picky again. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm not even going to save this picture. Maybe I'll save it. But, um, maybe I'll save it, but that's only because I've been spending this much time on it. When you spend time on a picture, you want to... Um, you, you just want to be able to, like, keep it and gawk at it. I'm probably going to save this, knowing me. I, I save files all the time. And then never finish them. <laughs> so is another artist trope. Um. Oh fuck! What did I do to your eye? I did not mean to do that. I wanted to just kind of. Yoink. I kind of give them that little little bit where the eye showing the eyes are kind of sunk in. Give it a little more shape. Um. So. That's looking like Sonic, yeah? Yeah, I, th I think so. I think so. I think this quill could be a little lower, but... Yeah, fuck it, let's make it lower. Grumble, 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 grumble. You guys are probably doing that just as well. You guys are probably grumbling at me <laughs> by now. Um, If you're still here, anyway. Uh, But then I just kind of... I start with that eye, get the angle right, and then I do that eye because it's in such an open... Uh, space, it's hard to really f Okay, you know what? We're going back to this. But yeah, I usually start with this eye in particular because it... <sighs> more or less starts the boundary for where you're- or sets the- sets the angle better because this one is in a giant sea of nothingness so you basically don't know where you're putting the eye really not really anyway um tail's a little too there we go. We'll take it there so it's not exactly sonic but that's like my interpretation of sonic so yeah um also, my signature to anyone who wants to know is roughly that. I don't I don't know if anybody wanted to know that. But anyway, thank you guys for sitting for those of you who did sit through to this point. Thank you so much. It, I really do appreciate it. Um so if you liked it, hit the like button cuz I really want to know if you guys liked I do. I really want to know if you actually liked this. So, please, hit that like button. If you got something to say, or anything to answer that I asked you to answer in this video, leave that down in the comments down below. And to support future content, to see future content, and all around just, you know, let me know that you're in for the long haul. Just subscribe. It, it, it's that simple. Uh, this has been such a slow-paced video. I'm so sorry. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. See ya.